So I had a question put to me, and I'm just going to read the last part, and then I'll get to the answer. I just want to know your opinion. You always encourage newcomers to pursue the web stack skills, which I am familiar with. But do you think that there is any chance for me to learn C Sharp or C++ to find a job in gaming? This is my dream. I'm paraphrasing the last part. I would be more than grateful if you could answer me. So I wrote back briefly and I'm going to expand on this. Sure, but the gaming industry can be tough because people think it is fun. That's one thing you have to understand. Any industry, any type of job that people perceive as fun, it will drive up competition because a lot more people are going to be involved. And then employers know that it's perceived as fun. So they're going to be able to uh, adjust their work environment, meaning it could be tougher, and lower the pay. This is not uncommon. It's not just with programming. It's with any industry. If you look at the film industry as an example, Actors will be in there 10 hour days, 18 hour days. And unless you're a star, you're not making anything. It could be rough. It could be rough. So that's just a couple of examples off the, off the top of my head. On the flip side, you look at professions like a plumber, which is dirty, it's perceived as dirty work. Because it's not perceived as being glamorous and fun, plumbers make a ton of money. It just goes that way with uh, coding as well. Like in the, uh, in the web development space, if we're going to call it that, WordPress developers, uh, they make a lot of money. Why? Because most developers look at WordPress and they're like, no, no WordPress. And I'm not saying WordPress is the best thing ever, but... So many small businesses are dependent on WordPress and uh, so few developers want to work with WordPress. Anybody who wants to get into WordPress, uh, prof become a WordPress professional, whether you're installing WordPress themes, whatever, there's a lot of opportunity there. Now back to gaming. Yeah, the gaming industry, there's lots of work, but from what I hear, and I've never worked in it personally, but I have friends who do, it can be grueling. I don't know what the pays are like relative to other programming gigs, but again, uh, you want to keep that in mind in terms of that type of uh, job. There are stretches where all you're going to be doing is working. You have deadlines, and uh, so you might be working super long hours uh, when they want to hit a release date. I guess this could be said for a lot of software development, but gaming could be pretty tough. And gaming could be pretty brutal. I know friends who, who are in the gaming industry, now they're higher up than coder developers, but um, for instance, uh, when uh, one of the big players, one of the games didn't go well, they just fired just about the entire team. So he had been there, a friend of mine, for several years, and he just got cut with, you know, hundreds of other people. Boom. Like that. So, that's just the way it is. It can be exciting because you're working on a fun subject. You're working on games. Just keep in mind this whole issue of, uh, of uh, competition, what's perceived as being fun or not, and how that will negatively impact the amount of money you can make and the quality of the work environment. I don't work at a gaming company and or work for one i don't know every single gaming company out there but just keep that in mind as a general principle that being said you can't lose learning c sharp or c plus plus you can't lose writing games uh in the end those skills even if you don't get into gaming in the end those skills can be tr will translate into a whole bunch of different opportunities for you so i wouldn't worry about it if you take away any message from this channel is that learning programming and how to code regardless of the language makes no difference really in the end because if you learn language A and you find there's no jobs there, you have the opportunity to easily and quickly go to language B, C, or D, or E. It isn't a big deal. The only time you shouldn't be concentrating on a programming language, of course, is Ruby. 
I just had to do a Ruby joke because, uh, you know, people demand it. They say, where's the Ruby joke? Uh, yeah, even Ruby. You learn Ruby. There's plenty of, there's lots of work out there for Ruby developers, Rails. And even if you end up not using Ruby, you'll probably end up doing Python. And knowing Ruby will make learning Python pretty easy. All right, that's it for now. Bye-bye. Thank you.